All right, we're still moving on with uh, stockholders' equity uh, homework solution. We're on number three, and it's a stock dividend, not a cash dividend, a stock dividend, a pro rata distribution of shares of stock. 50%, that means it's a large stock dividend, which is done at par. Large at par, so it's greater than 25%. Large stock dividend. Record the declaration. So, since it's just par value, we ignore the market value and the reduction in retained earnings is just the total par value, which is uh, the stock dividend percent times the number of shares outstanding One two five zero, two two three, whoop, two two three, times the par value of a dollar. All right, and that's six twenty five one one two rounded to the nearest dollar. Okay, and we don't have a payable account. We have a common stock dividend distributable that's credited. Why is it a distributable? Once again, uh, in case you didn't see the lecture. It's distributable and not payable because we're not transferring an asset or uh, freeing someone up from a liability. All we're doing is taking a pizza and cutting it from four pieces into eight or eight to 16 and so forth. So um, we call it a distributable because we don't have to, we're not going to reduce total assets. We're not going to reduce total stockholders equity to make good on this transaction. On the distribution date, and we call it a distribution date, not a payment date, we remove the distributable, and actually here is when the stock is increased. Okay. How many common shares are outstanding? They started with 1, 2, 5, 0, 2, 2, 3. And they... Whoop, they added, so this is how the stock dividend works, 50%. So you keep those shares, and then you add 1, 2, 5, 0, up, 2, 2, 3, 50% times the outstanding. Another way to think about it, or an easier way to get there, take 1, add it to the dividend distribution, or dividend percent, and multiply it times the number of shares outstanding. Okay, so you have increased dramatically the number of shares outstanding and you've transferred an amount from retained earnings. So what happens is this is sometimes called the capitalization of earnings because net what's happened is you've taken something out of retained earnings and put it into a contributed capital account. What is the change in total stockholders equity after stock dividend? Zero, zero, zero. Okay, I don't even like to think of it as a real dividend because it doesn't change total assets and it doesn't change total stockholders' equity, but there you have it. Once again, if as I mentioned in the lecture, if in practice you ever see one of these, please let me know. This typically, these are not done, but they, the question keeps showing up. That's why we teach it. All right. Uh, what is the total preferred dividend if the stock is cumulative? So um, one of the features of preferred stock that can affect the preferred dividend is cumulative versus non-cumulative. So we're going to look at the cumulative case here. It says they declared a cash dividend of 200000 Cougar Inc. has 10,000 shares, $100, 6% preferred. No preferred dividends were declared in the prior year. So for the current year... What they're entitled to is 10,000 shares outstanding times the par value times 6%. Uh, past dividends, past 2014 would be the same amount. So let's see what do we have. 6% times 106 times 10. This is going to be 60,000. So the past dividend... You could have a case where maybe they paid 20 of it in 2014, but there were none. 
that's 120. We have to compare it to the amount declared as 200,000. So here is the preferred dividend. Okay. And here is the total dividend of 200,000. So if the other question was, here is the common stock dividend that would have been 80,000, okay? But here's the preferred dividend right here. If it would have been less, if they would have declared less than 120, that's the only amount available. So if it said they declared a dividend of 100, then they would have just gotten 100,000. What is the total amount if it's non-cumulative? If it's non-cumulative, then you get current year only, which is the 60000 Just by changing that word, it cut the dividend in half in this instance. All right, so that's cumulative always receives more than non-cumulative. Um, I'm going to take a break so the video doesn't get too long. And we'll start in number five.